In this video, I'm going to be going over Premiere Pro tutorial flashback effect, so stay tuned. Okay, so in my film Banana Pearl, which if you haven't watched it, then go and watch that, there's a link below, I do a flashback effect, and this is how I did it. So essentially what I did was I had most of the film finished by now. I took a full render of that film and I chopped it up. So here we go, uh, this is what I'm looking at now. And then I reversed it, chopped it up into sections, and then sped it up massively. And then I just zoomed in on certain bits. So this one's zoomed in, uh, this one isn't. So this one's like just at 100%, this one's at 117%, then this one's at 100%, this one's at 117 And then I used an additive dissolve to go between the two. So you get this kind of overlap of the two renders and it all looks a bit messed up. And so what, what you do is you essentially take, um, if I show you an example, okay, so this piece is going to be 100%, this one's going to be 117 Okay, and then you get your additive dissolve and you overlap quite a lot of it. And that's it. I mean, it's that simple because one of them is uh, is bigger than the other. It kind of just makes it all look a bit messed up. Um, and then you just carry on doing that throughout the thing. And you end up, and I sort of did it more and more towards the end, sort of got smaller and smaller pieces, got a bit, basically faster and faster and faster. So I started off, um, let's just have a look. I started off at 5,000%. This is probably less. But so you ramp up from 5,000 all the way up to 10,000, which means it, the f speed increases as, as it goes. So then what I did was then I nested this whole thing. So you select it all and then uh, right click and then you choose nest. And essentially that means now this is this is now in a nest. Now I'll take off those effects. And that's what I've got there. Um, okay. I've added these, power these uh, sound effects and of course you need to do that. I basically got a part of the film and just reversed it and sped it up a thousand percent and that gives me the sort of feeling. <laughs> okay. I've got this kind of uh, sound effect, which is like an evil. Okay, and then I've also got this power down, which is kind of... And then this scary impact. Now these power down and metal hits, they're from the Video Copilot uh, sound design uh, or Pro Scores... Um, package i'm not sure which one but but they're both worth getting anyway so then uh so with magic bullet looks i added this particular look which gives it this blue kind of look so if i take that off you can see so that that, that really brings out the the sort of uh, highlights as well adds a bit of a vignette also uh that's the softening of the edges that's the curves and so on and so forth I'm adding a spot exposure there to sort of, because I had to shoot this almost at night. <laughs> um, so essentially that gives that it, that sort of nice blue effect, which kind of like gives it that dreamy look. And then I also add this brightness effect, which I'm actually, um, which I'm actually keeping at naught until this moment. And then I sort of ramp it up and I ramp up the brightness and I ramp up the contrast towards the end. Okay, and then I've got this sort of transition uh, that I've made. And then I cut to the normal sort of thing. So I'm not going to talk about the transition today. I'm just going to talk about the uh, flashback effect. So now I'm going to cut and show you uh, in the actual main edit, I then add some more effects like the vignette and so on and so forth. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so the last thing that you need to do is make a vignette and um, essentially then animate that getting smaller and smaller. So I'll show you how to do that. I can't find my original file, but essentially uh, I just went into Photoshop and I just made a new layer, made it black. Okay, so 
new layer, made it black, and then you can get the the uh, eraser tool, and then you want to get your settings correct. So you want to have quite a you want to stick the edge to a very sort of dissipated edge, and then bring the size to however you want your vignette to look. Make this a bit smaller. Oh, there we go. That's quite a good one. I think that's going to work now. Let me get it a bit more centered. Okay, so there we go. We've got our vignette. It's important to have a bit of black, solid black around the edge. Save it with the transparency in the background, so I'm making it a PNG. There we go. We've got our vignette. We can now stretch that out. If you uncheck the uh, uniform scale box, you can actually stretch it out whichever way you want. So I'm going to make it more of an oval. That's it. And then you can animate that to get bigger or smaller. So basically just uh, put in your... Uh, what, what, what I'd probably do is, say you can animate it um, easily now you've stretched this out, I would then um, nest that once you've got the shape correct. And then you can just click on these and you've got one scale uh, then to animate and you can bring this sort of up here and then bring it down to there. You could go smaller, you just have to make some, uh, well, I'll show you. If I wanted to go smaller there, I'll just make a title slide. And I just fill in these black sp these spaces with black. Okay, and just grab that, stick that over the top, and then bring animate it in where where you need it. Uh, in fact, we probably need to put a couple of things on the top as well, top and bottom. Okay, and there you go. So you've got your now you've got your vignette. Just rendering. You bring this down. You've got your vignette that's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, yeah, and then it goes on. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Give us a like, a share, and subscribe to my channel. This was Ben Simon from Media Brighton TV with the Premiere Pro tutorial flashback effect. Thanks for watching. I have a completely free ebook for you. It's five essentials to indie filmmaking, my special tips to make a more professional production. So just click on the link below this video, enter your details, and I'll send you that completely free. Thanks for watching.